Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Thursday with Dylan Russell. We're just going to jump right into it and uh, get moving. And apparently I have a rocket in my head. Okay, well, <laughs> that's the way life starts. And today we are on the Deadcraft 73 um, Minecraft server. We're playing Java Minecraft. Uh, today's plan is loosely we are just going to try fish farm round two and do some flooring in the church. Otherwise, just... Uh, hang out and chill, I suppose. That's probably the best way of putting it. Um, noting that I'm delayed with the stream, um, my bot crashing followed by OBS crashing. So hopefully now that they're back up, everything should stay stable. Um, but apologies, and please do let me know in chat if you see something bizarre going on. Good morning, fantastic Sherlock Fox. Hello there. Alrighty. So, uh, first things first. One of the things that I had had reminded to me is that um, Java and Bedrock are very, very different. Long story made short, the Java version of how fish spawn and the, the Bedrock version of how fish spawn are very different. The Java version um, does not allow fish to spawn in bubble columns, whereas that is not the case in bedrock play away so yeah in bedrock um they can spawn in bubble columns no issue so yeah that that threw a bit of a monkey wrench in the whole plan but that's okay that's only part of the reason why things weren't working but it's enough for me uh what's it else i was half asleep when it came to how fish behave in the, the world so um there is no way in a hot place that they were ever going to um spawn or pardon me they were never ever going to get swept in to the water streams um by the path i was building so yeah that's not gonna work either um just, just put away this thing's ugly at some point I may fix that, but if I do, I need to go to get some more sand. And we'll probably have to do that later in the stream anyways. But we'll just see if we can get, get things going. All right. Now, hopefully, everything was labeled this morning correctly. Um, what I mean by that is... Oh, good morning, sheep. Is that uh, yesterday I labeled things correctly in OBS as to the title and category of the, of the game being played. But OBS decided that that was not going to populate through. So, yeah, I don't know about OBS or Twitch being twitchy. It doesn't really matter. It's not the point. But this is Tresho. So for now, we'll just stop the water. Look, it's good for now. Excellent. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, as I may have mentioned earlier in the week, aside from that, um, I may have mentioned earlier in the week, just trying something a little different. So Thursday is just going to be a, a casual build and chill, unless we've got something notable to do. Um, Friday, or Fridays. Once in a blue moon, if I'm in the mood, something else may happen on a Friday, but at the moment, not likely. Um, what else? I can't seem to think at the moment. I'm just going to get rid of some of these flowing streams because we really don't need them. And then um, I'm actually going to fill in the water below in sort of reason. Then we're going to tear this puppy up and do a checkerboard pattern instead. Because that will get us um, the spawnable blocks that the fish can spawn above. And I'm just going to go grab a bed. This is getting stupid. Um, but it'll guess the spawnable blocks so that fish can spawn, but then if they try to swim anywhere, they're going to end up in the in the bubble columns. It's not a great one for efficiency, but that's just the way the mechanic needs to work in Java Minecraft. I have a bed kicking around. Sometimes I have extras laying around. Not this time, so just make one. Why not? I have 
not in here, but I have all of the wazoo, so that's all I really need to worry about. And uh, music may seem a little bit off, um, off mood to start with, but that's just because it's the kind of thing that's going to get us pumped, or at least get me pumped to keep on going here. All right, let's make ourselves a easy here bed. There we go. Now that we have a bed, we won't have problems with having to come back every day for sleep time. Look at these. Bruce. Oh, that's the wrong box. This Bruce goes over there. Semi-organized. And we will get ourselves rolling. Okay, so leftover from yesterday. Um, we never really talked a whole lot about who our best friends were in elementary or junior high. And uh, I think in the UK they call it primary, which sounds to me almost like kindergarten, so why I didn't label it that way on the on the question. But I would say my best friend in elementary school um, was a gal by the name of Shelly. And I'm not quite sure when we started being friends, but she lived in a, a house near me, and we... Um, Used to hang out together quite a lot. So for a while I would get in, well, let's put it this way. I had two different friends. Um, one's worth mentioning and one I will mention but not as a friend. Um, so in any case, so Shelly was awesome. Um, she, I, I went to two different elementary schools and um, reason for that was because the local one when I was in somewhere between grade three and grade four, the local school um, caught fire. I'm not, there, there never really was clarification as to whether or not it caught fire because of um, something accidental or the rumor for a long time, okay? The rumor for a long time was that it was intentional um, that somebody had actually set, broke into the school and set the fire. But in any case, um, my classroom was right next to the library and it was ground zero for the fire. So it got destroyed completely. And our school um, had to get run out because during the fire, the roof fell in. So after that, uh, of course, they needed to bus the kids to a, not, well, yeah, bus the kids to a nearby school for the year. But unfortunately, um, that nearby school had a reputation nobody wants their school to have but it was it was had a rep for being a tough like a fist fight kind of place even though it was grades one to six so um my mom wisely decided that she was not going to send her kids there and instead we went we got bus to not bus to sorry we went to another school in the city where they had a there happened to be a before and after school program a lot of schools call that out of school program. Basically, the, the idea is it was like daycare while your parents were in school. Not in school, sorry, while your parents were at work. And then they can come pick you up afterwards. Um, that part I didn't like because, you know, it doesn't do well for your social standing in the school. But uh, fairly quickly, I got permission to, to go hang out at a different friend's house after school. Just had to phone my, my mom from the out of school program desk and just say, hey, can I go over to Stephanie's today? And that was really all it was. Eventually, my mom, by the time I was in grade six, was able was allowed to uh, put in a sort of standing letter that I just had to check in with the program, let them know I wasn't going to be there, and then I could just go. But anyway, long story short, made the first friend, um, Shelley, stayed friends with me even after I moved to the other school, partly because Shelley also introduced me to the Girl Guides program, so we were like inseparable in Girl Guides. It was pretty awesome. But yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. We, le we learned a lot. Um, and so I lost touch with her, but the only reason I ever got super annoyed with her was at one point um, she got to go to a cool Hello. World Jamboree event that I didn't go to, but was short on um, enough uniforms for the week. So I loaned her my uniform at the time, and I never got it back. That's the only reason I'm ever bitter. Her. Um, other than that, we just simply lost touch because, of course, eventually... Eventually I graduated, we moved on, we did different things, and that was that. Uh, 
Uh, you know why I'm using water, Tom? It's actually simply because I don't have enough ice. Oh, the welcoming party. Guys, would you just booger off? They are one of my biggest expenditures of rockets lately. Okay, let's just see how big this is. We've got one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have room to make it bigger. That's those. Other thing about having those neighbors is they make it awkward for me to get to the place I wanted to put my bed. I'll put it down. And then we'll just ignore them as long as we can. That's really what it comes down to. Um, but yeah, I actually have not been anywhere to collect ice. Um, so at the moment, it just was whatever happened to be in the trader's inventory when, he, when the wandering trader came through. Good morning, Swanky. How are you doing today? Uh, okay, good. Things are being really strange today. So I'm actually going to give you guys an extra shout out if I can get things to cooperate. At least. Maybe, maybe not. That loves me today. There we go. Hope that actually works. We go, yeah, it popped up. Good. It'd be good. Okay, so we've got make this a little bigger now you can see my oops and my noob mistake so technically on bedrock in theory part of this should work except for all this other spawning zone um but java this is and yeah not so much okay so we had nine ten seven well, uh, oh, hello there. Up there. Twelve plus a wall. Twelve. Oops, I can't count. Thirteen. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So a little bit bigger on this side. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 19. Oh, whoops, can't do that. Okay. I'm going to remove the three on this side, like two on this side. Eleven in stone. One, two, three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. I don't know what I have done. Somehow, with all the weird QOL mods and stuff, um, I do not get chunk borders. You can see that that's just not a thing. So, I'm just faking it. Where am I? Chunk relative 15. 5. Okay, I got 0. 0. Okay. Zero, 0 is actually there. Hmm. Inconvenient, because that's going to cause me problems one way or the other. As you can see, the farm is, or the, the farm, the, um, the river itself is not chunk aligned. So to go 16 is not super good, unless I double it and go both ways. That's always a possibility. What have we got? One, two, what was that? That's zero. One, five, six, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. I can go that way. So this will be the wall. This is going to be bigger, but I'm actually going to checkerboard it. And if I have extra, I have extra. Because we need 29 cats. Possibly more if I end up with cat themed stuff. So, yeah. As you can see up on the hill, we've got the book library or book trading hall. So this guy's not high on my list of people to peg off. Anyways, where was I here? Add 0, 15, 0. Okay. Yeah. God. Dean going that away. 11. 12, 13, oh, whoops, not that one. Well, 13, 14, 15, that one. Interesting. Zero, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, nine, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. How badly? Oh. Right. Did I stay in the river? Still in the river. Weird river biomes. Weird, weird, weird. I did say 29 cats. Now, I know 29 is not actually something I can really do. Um, I have a suspicion that the game will not be happy with me if I do that. My intention is to grab as many... Um, naturally spawning as I can to start with, and then breed him up. Yeah. 29 because, not about um, the creepers or anything silly like that, 29 because, um, because I would like to do a reference to Lillian Jackson Braun's series, The Cat Who. It's about a newspaper reporter named Jim Quilleran, and he's got two cats. Oh, hello there! And, uh, Hello, young lady. I guess technically, if we were to be really fussy about the comparisons, yes, although some days I feel old. Things don't work as other young lady. But anyway, um, good to see you, Lord Snarl. So I was just about to explain that I'm looking, part of the reason I'm building this fish farm is to actually get the fish for a reference to a Lillian Jackson Braun book called The Cat Who. Cat Who, and there's like 29 novels, so it's things like Cat who knew um, knew a cardinal. The cat who saw red. The cat who ate Danish modern, etc., etc., etc. And uh, yeah, I'm not getting chunk aligned. Um, and so actually, the cats will be named the latter part of that title. So when you're looking at any particular cat, that will be the cat who, and then whatever it is. As far as I can, I mean, obviously, some of these titles are going to be somehow truncated because um you know, eight danish modern just looks really weird on a on a name tag but it might actually not fit um but, you know a cat who saw red would probably make plenty of sense and i don't really care what kind of cat it is um in the story they're both siamese but i mean this is minecraft since when do you actually get every single cat being the same type that, that would be you know creative and a half um do i have no, I only have the one kind of. Okay, I'm tired of these fools. Let's see, which way do I want to go today? Out. Oh. 
Okay, journey map is being a pain for me, but that's okay. We're going to, see, I went south last time. Let's go, go southwest this time. Just don't really like those guys. So if I can make them despawn, I'll be happier. Oh, bonus. So here's a quick semi-boo at the carpet art I've been working on. And we'll see it again on the way back. I just don't like those guys. Oh, another village. Ow! <laughs> okay. That's one way to find a village. Where am I? I didn't even know that was there. Okay, well now I know. And it has villagers! Yay! You love my squirreling. <laughs> um, well, the problem with the theme that I, I chose, Tom, is that... Give me a second, steal one here. No, okay. The problem with the theme I chose is that... Um, yeah, definitely. Um, is that it's not a very connected theme. So, I mean, if it was all one character, that'd be fine. Or all one um, series of novels, that'd be fine. But it, by being a theme of various mystery novels, it gives some variety in what I can build. Oops, where am I going? Southwest, no. Okay. Um, it gives variety in what I can build, but it does not... Um, it doesn't work for a very coherent base. Be careful. There. You can see this project is a little bigger. <laughs> earlier, ow, earlier in the season, I was grinding out one one fifty by one fifty, and it looks a little warped out here. But then, if you zoom in, you still got that one. And uh, I think I mentioned that, that we're working on fixing it. We're just about back to the edge, and then I can start moving on the right-hand side of it. And that's actually one of the book novels. So, um, let's see. I turn this one. Yeah, so there's the book novel. On the left-hand side, I'm just finishing up Shimmer Paris to get rid of the green, because there's green in that one. The center one isn't showing the green it should. Um, in all honesty, that would have been nice if that had turned out lime. I may go and fix it. I'm not really sure how much I care. We'll see. Um, and then on the right-hand side, it's just somebody in a bed. So yeah, that's that's the reference I'm working with on that one. Okay, let's see if these fools are gone. And let's not crash into anything and everything. Definitely they're gone, that's good. So, um, yeah, so the, the Cat Who books are quite fun, but there's 29 of them. And so that's where I'm looking for 29 cats. I started at a zero at this point. Right here, mean chunk relative zero. That's what that's for. Okay. So it looks like in order to get a double wide uh, full two chunks, I think. Wait a minute, zero. Yeah, 15, and then it should be at a zero on this end. Yeah. So to get a full two chunks, then I'm going to have to dig out. Unless I just simply go with a one chunk and just go that away. Either way, it looks like it, to chunk a line, this puppy is going to take some digging one way or the other. Kind of stinks. Now, being as I'm moving over to the church building, you can see over there, it might be smarter just to come out this other direction instead. Just tear out the whole thing. Then there's far less digging for one. Farm, the farm. The base itself is not very 
organized nor chunk aligned in any way, shape, or form. So it's really a matter of where am I going to be spending most of my time. This weird blob on the left, that's a... Uh, can't even see it at the moment, but that's an iron farm. It's supposed to be uh, drowned in there. I'm not sure why it's not showing at the moment, if the librarians are, but that's okay. And then we're moving over to the church building. So having the farm for the fish come out this direction might not be a bad idea. It's whether I dig to the left or dig to the right really makes no difference. But as you can see, the center is kind of pointless. So I don't know, because I have to dig either way. I'll just leave it where it is and I can get half of it, part of it at least, already going. How's me today, generally? Um, hustled? Tired? Tired, yeah, that's probably a good one. So Fantastic Sherlock Fox and I, um, we both snore. Quite a lot, actually. So because we both snore so much, we um, track our snoring with an app. And, it's, and the app works on a scale of, of 1 to 100. The lower the number, the better. And obviously, you know, when, when one person's snoring and then the other one isn't or whatever, it bleeds over to, to the spouse's um, tracking system, but of course at a lower value. Well, I thought it was my fault last night because, oh, that's fine, um, because I got a, a 95 on our score meter. That's not good. But apparently, I thought it was 1 to 100. Apparently, you can go over 100. So it wasn't all me. Um, we may have just crescendoed together, but yeah, it was largely Fantastic Sherlock Fox as well. And we don't know at the moment who's worse, but it just means that we definitely disrupt each other's rest. It's not exactly an ideal day. And I had some really bizarre dreams last night. So um, I'm a fan of Harry Potter. And so because I had the disrupted sleep last night, I ended up having really weird dreams about Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts all mixed together. Plus the world I know, of course, with... Um, a blended era wizarding war. It was really weird. Like, I'm not used to that kind of strangeness. I also don't usually remember my dreams as vividly, so something was definitely disturbing us. But uh, that means that um, the decaf coffee may be followed up later in the day by a caffeinated tea. <laughs> Even after I end up with two cups of decaf coffee. Notably worse. Usually it's Fantastic Sherlock Fox indeed, but I picked up a bit of a cold. I just had a sniffle this morning that I have to deal with, and uh, that's probably related to why why it worked out that way. Um, 11, 16's here. Yeah. I'm going to start framing this. So I can figure out where we're at and how far I have to dig down to and redo the bottom. Yeah, so that makes me a little sleepy. That's that's really all it is. Oh, I conveniently did not put anything in there. That's handy. So, yeah, that's me. I'm a little tired. Um, it tends to make you ramble and squirrel a bit more. When I'm tired, I have difficulty focusing. But the other part of it is I'm um, looking at this particular project as a dog on a bone kind of thing and wanting to get it done, not because I actually need to. I mean, you know, I could stand around and, and use my unbreaking three mending fishing rod. I'm not looking for books or loot. I just want fish. Leads to good discussions? I don't know. <laughs> That's debatable. <laughs> Whether or not you would consider this a good discussion. I really think that somebody else is telling me some. Hey, there you go.
only reason I cared about whether or not this chunk aligned is simply because um, if I don't, then there's a much larger chance that I will lose the um, minecarts. So I just don't want to have that happen. I mean, one of them will probably disappear anyways because both of these probably won't be loaded at the same time. If I don't get to the flooring, I don't get to the flooring. There it goes. Oh, good guess. Okay. You know, the church will be there, right? Just, it's a project that's been ongoing for quite some time, so it will still be there. Winner by default? Uh-oh. Violenceless victory. Well, that's too bad. Maybe we'll have another one later on. Oops. I also recognize that um, places like the UK are quite a ways ahead of us. So pe people there are probably tired at the other end of their day. Oops. I'm going to need that anyways. All right. Yeah, this thing's getting a little bigger. And I'm not missing out on any functionality during the time that this is... Um, being rebuilt because not like I had anything working in the first place. So those on Dadcraft 73's Discord were, are well aware that um, this is partly a learning experience for me because, as I mentioned on last stream, I've never had a fish farm that actually worked. Um, they've always been junk. So not having this work was actually not a surprise even though it was frustrating and so i wanted to uh Ooh. that doesn't sound good lord snarl self-inflicted pain not good at all although it's that's not too bad 1738 it's okay <laughs> I'm not missing out on fish, I say, as there's a fish that just... yeah. That's funny. Alright. Got the frame built. Let's take this part out. So I'm going to be doing this as two separate... Um, Two separate minecart tracks, which it, for me is not the part I'm good at. But we'll just be, we'll figure that part out as we go. That does not sound good at all. Hopefully you'll recover okay, but that definitely not, not on anyone's to-do list. I've got some relatively poor circulation, and so sometimes I've wondered if that was, sort of thing was going to happen um, from sitting too long sort of deal and then standing up, but um, turns out, no, I'm not that lucky. It, um, in my case, it only ends up being uh, psoriasis. That sounds dumb, but if you have poor circulation and you don't move enough, um, you can trigger psoriasis to happen in that you get micro death of your blood vessels. Fun, fun. And I do not know why I suddenly start swimming. I'm pretty sure it's the magma block next to me. It's convenient when it's planned, inconvenient when it's not planned. Hey, fishy. 
you want to come die, you're good with I'm good with that. I also had wondered at one point, weren't you supposed to, like, players supposed to take damage when you're up against the, the magma block from the side? Because apparently I don't. But, um, it's just my imagination, I guess, that, that that was ever a thing. What's in here? Random junk? All right. Can I pick up? I don't remember anything, actually. Basically, I'm just going to tear it all out and start again. I don't need the sticks. Sand. I have too much dirt. That'll probably do for now. All right. That out. I'm going to be building over top of it. And I got to take out all of. Oh, whoops. Collect it up and then before we put it down, I have to do some more digging down. Digging down, my absolute favorite activity. But hey, it's all good. Um, where are we here? Sounds like it's more in that case then of an oh no, not again. I'm sorry to hear that. This height. Like that. Music is pretty cool actually this morning. I wanted to groove in my chair, which would look really ridiculous on camera. One of the advantages to putting the walls up first, as weird as it sounds, is that then I can go running around with my shovel and it's not a problem because I'm going to hit the walls. That's part of why I want to do that part first. There we go. For example, oh, maybe not that. Convenient. Ow. That's my not the world's smartest at, at uh, efficiently placing blocks. I'm gonna need some more, I'm sure. But I remembered grab extra for spreading out the floor and I'm like wait a minute I need to spread out the walls too so I'm not gonna have enough but that's okay and I'm gonna drown all right one side is over here too I floated a block okay. squirrel ah on the on that note squirrel sound you heard is a little weird and the reason it's that strange is that that squirrel sound 
is um, set on, on random. Um, and there is, so we've got a random number generator as to which one it's going to happen, going to use. But we have um, both the squirrel sound from Doug from Up, which is the one that most people are familiar with, as well as the squirreling sound from um, the Alpha Dog. I just, hmm. Oh, not nice. Little hole. Um, which means that, um, how, oh, interesting. Um, so every once in a while you're going to get the alpha sound as well. I think there's about a 50-50 on that because I've got the two different sounds. But, um, thus far my luck has been mostly getting the squirrel sound from, um, I think, wait, yeah, okay, I found the edge. While I've got air would be a smart time for me to actually put in the walls, but of course, you know, I didn't think of that. All right, one. That has to go lower. Here. Let's pull up this hole. Yeah, that's why we had the high pitched one, is because Alpha had his voice all messed up because somebody messed with his collar. Ish. Okay. Somebody had messed with his collar and therefore he had a high pitched squeal type sound. Where that one came from. That's like a rough way of life. Sorry, that's totally random. I was referring to Lord Snarl's comment. So I've been trying a new schedule. Um, so, I mean, this week it worked out, but I mean, you never know how long it's going to take to to settle in if a comment or if a... Um, I'm gonna call it if a new system or plan is going to work. Oh, lovely. I do not like being in the dark partly because you guys can't see it. Oh, that's not working either. So what we're gonna do not shaders. We do not want shaders. Uh this. I think I've got yeah, there we go. I've got dynamic lighting turned on. So via add-ons. Quality of life add-ons. That's partly so that I can show you guys things like this quite easily without having to put torches down everywhere and then keep moving them. So the new schedule, um, we started out Monday quite easily. Uh, basically tried to do this, except failed miserably. Um, but that was a, a chill thing. The plan was to be basically just build it, let it do its thing. It was all resource theme. And yeah, there we go. I'm going to go get a shulker actually. Shulker blocks trick. Come on. A little cleanup. There we go. Um, so I'm going to. Where am I here? On. Else it stacks? Not really. Um, so Monday was that easing in and or sorry, not Monday. I keep saying Monday and it's actually not really, it's Tuesday morning for me. Um, 
I just don't think about it because my first streaming day. Dirt. That's what I said the other way. So anyway, um, where I'm going with that is to say that is to say that um, that's one. That's the first stream, and then next one after that, which is still Tuesday for sure, is um, Tuesday evening. Is going to be um, bingo because I'm still still working my way through that bingo thing. Still trying to get a little bit less freaked out by the creatures. That's kind of what's happening here. Um, what else? What else? Not the what else dirt wise. Um, Wednesday is still the whatever Wednesday. So the morning slot is going to be puzzlers along the lines of um, room and so forth. That's going to be one block, really. So that's what's going to be happening there. And then on Wednesday evening is going to be a management game of sorts. So it's probably either going to be City Skylines or uh, Planet Zoo. Um, I'm looking at doing Planet Zoo scenarios. City Skylines, I can probably deal with disasters and stuff down the road, but we just started a new city yesterday, and that new city is pretty vanilla, basic, and pretty behind the game at the moment. So let's just build the puppy up before we start worrying about disasters and so on. Um, where else? So, and then today, Thursdays are build and chills, so while I've got not a whole ton of projects on the go, um, they're rather than being stressed for myself about pushing through any particular project I'm working on, I'm just going to keep on building something and chill. Now, um, people are probably wondering a little bit about when I would actually do anything interesting, like lighting up mines or mine shafts or um, doing anything underground. There's not a whole ton of that, but I'm probably going to save a lot of that for. Tuesday mornings, because um, that would sort of fit in with a resource gather. Like, for example, I need a bunch more netherite. Um, else? And there's other resources I probably would like from from the uh, nether and so on. So that's, that's the plan for now. We'll see how well that goes. Just it gives me something to think about in terms of a sort of a plan for the week and to help get my head into a headspace rather than, <clears throat> pardon me, rather than uh, going with the flow every, about every single morning. The other thing, some things work and some things don't, but it's not necessarily what I'm playing that does or doesn't work. Sometimes it's actually just where the head was at or how the, present, how the presentation was done. So basically I'm trying to come up with something that I can make predictable, which allows me to work on other factors temporarily and see a little bit more what works for me and what, what doesn't. So yeah, that's where we're at. At the moment, the addition of having Champion of the Hill is quite useful. And uh, still mulling over a better, a better intro rather than rambling it through, a better closing rather than doing the same. Um, but yeah, that's something I'm still working on. because it's always useful. It's not that I want a script per se, but if I have something predictable or pretty similar every time, then it makes it a bit easier for me to, uh, to do it on the fly. Okay, we're gonna need to be lower here by two. Hmm. And go. This way. More. Who's going to sniff at more? Ow. That wasn't fun. All right. I did need more sand, but not this way. I 
anyway, um, yeah. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there, this one. Bonus, found an edge. That works. One of the other things I've noted too is that there's been a number of streamers that are newer than me, um, by a good margin, who I've checked in on recently and um, watched them for a bit, totally enjoyed it, supporting them, etc. And then suddenly, just partly well, it's who they are, you know, their, their style, etc. Um, they surpass very quickly where I'm at in terms of support and viewership and, and all that sort of thing. So I'm just learning from them a little bit in terms of things I could do differently, things that it's not necessarily being like everybody else, but I, I like to learn and watch and figure out, okay, what is it about their niche that works for them that's not working for me? You know, what is it about their personality that's different? What is it about their style that's different? And how can I um, embrace that, I guess, is probably a better way of putting it. So, yeah. You know, they say embrace your differences. Go off what you got. That just sounds like a weird Thing potentially non family friendly, but this has got to go down. So, in any case, um, yeah, that's. Time for Lego. Excellent. All right. So that means we're just going to flip over and do a quick five minutes of Lego. And if the way this works, the way this works is that I do five minutes of, of building on here. And if anybody wants any extra or more, then they can actually just use their channel points to redeem another five minutes at any time in the stream. They don't even have to wait till server restart. I'm gonna grab that microphone. Okay, there we go. So I'll start the timer. And if you need to stretch, fill your drinks, you know, whatever, go for it. This is the time. All right, so we're, what we're working on today is the Hogwarts magical trunk and the lights are bouncing off of it, but that's what we got with a bunch of cool little characters. I've got hiding over on the right hand side and I've got myself a new pad, but I had to put another mouse pad on top just because um, a lot of lines on this new pad. I like it, but they show up too well on camera. So anyway, where we were left off, we're on 36. Now we're moving on to 37, I believe. Oh, no, it looks like I went ahead and did 37. Okay, 38 it is then. I just miss. Yep, that's fine. Go ahead and walk your dogs and uh, and um, enjoy anything that you do right after that. Because sometimes I miss what you're up to after that point. All right. So, add... Oops, wrong way. He's just going the opposite direction. Come on. There we go. Two by four. Missing here. Yeah. Enjoy the dog walk. All right. Do, 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 do. All right. And page turn. So now on the first half, we had made a, a handle for the side of the, the suitcase. And you can see that we're just starting the handle for the opposite side. Got a couple of tube pieces we're going to use. One of those and a tube in the center. A couple of side bits. 
and some, I don't even know what these are called, but they're like little connector tubes. Ow. When it's in, I press too hard. I wonder that I never break things when I put, when I work with Lego. Things in and those little clips, and then the mount points. Have to go the same way as each other. Go. Oh, come on. That, and then we mount that on the side of the suitcase. Okay, and then there's one more in the center to make it look like a proper hinge. There we go. So that's the other side. And there's a clip that's on top. And a little brown square to level it off. And now for something completely different. And we're going to get five more minutes of Lego. Excellent. When this timer runs out, I will just restart it and keep on going. There we go. Uh, flat zone. And this one has a mount that goes on the side at the bottom. And then what do we do here? Level it off again. Up top. And two. And then mount that on this side of the suit. You can start to see the shape of it coming together. And I um this way. And we need to put a couple of on the front to clip it, I guess. More decorative. And then, and then, my kids would laugh at me for that. And then, and two single rows. I'm actually starting to look like something now, which is a start. And it gives me an idea of how big it is so that I can start off-camera planning the space where it's going to live. I actually have a couple of things that need to move around. Okay, okay. <clears throat> just gonna take a quick stretch, grab my phone so that I can actually see your chat because that would be useful. That around here is handy. Tapping the wrong thing. There we go. My phone rest I've got here is actually really kind of weird. Um, once I've once I've set my phone in it, something seems to I don't know what happens, but I can't swipe anything or press much. Okay, let's start the second five minutes. So clear that, and there you go. All right, so we're just gonna finish off the front of the suitcase. And then it moves on to being the inside after that. So this is because we've got a couple of back-to-back -back, um, five minute runs. Then um, this is giving you a little bit of a taste of the stylings. I mean, hopefully I'll have more to talk about, but a bit more of the stylings um, for the upcoming build end to end of the community redeemed um, Dumbledore's office build. We're going to actually do that on a Friday, most likely. And um, I just have to figure out the tech. And then we've got a couple of dates that I'm looking at. So information on that will be coming out on Twitter fairly soon. And we'll probably get post. Well, we'll get, definitely get posted in the schedule. And then um, about section, we'll have an uh, upcoming events. Element. Ooh, new bag. Excellent. Set this aside. Box and get new bag. 
One, two, three. All right. So the nice part about having this pad, I'm sure I've got a couple extra pieces. Um, the nice part about having the pad is that then when I open one of these boxes, you hear all the crinkles, but you don't hear all the dumping. So I'm just going to mute the crinkles and I'll be right back. One of the most popular ASMR sounds actually happens to be the pouring out of the Lego pieces, and I have no idea why. Because, I mean, it's just, blink! If I heard that for, you know, 20 minutes or something, I'd wonder what on earth was wrong with the person and why they couldn't just dump their bag and call it a day. But, hey, everybody's different. Okay, so once we get these done, I will probably end up shoving them off the side. Keep our build space clear. Now that I know that I can actually see a lot of this on camera, then I have a better idea how much space I have to work with. Which means that provided I can figure out a face cam, I may actually just use this space for the major build, in which case it makes it a lot easier technology-wise because everything's plugged in. I, I sometimes wonder how people who do big builds manage to find the space oops, to do them on camera and still manage to control their their chats and so on and so forth. But hey, I guess I get to learn, right? No better way to learn than by doing some days. All right. More black clips, probably for the top half. And that's my bet, as I think we're going to be heading into the top half here pretty soon. Pull these hinges out of the way. One bag down. Oh, here comes the other one. Lovely noise. I'm a sorter. And you can see in the page that we're going to be using our, our big panel. I'm just going to set that off to the side right there. And you can start to see we've got some stickers and stuff that we'll be using eventually. Um, actually, if I go sideways, we've got a hmm, interesting, interesting looking piece. I'm looking forward to using that. There's a couple of those. Okay, what have we got? This. Ooh, nice. So this sort of thing is called knolling, and it just um, helps me be a little organized so I don't end up digging through piles looking for pieces. I do often a lot of the knolling off camera, but the reason for that is just plain and simple that it takes time, but this bag's a little more complex than I want to be digging through initially. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Speed knolling always takes time anyway. But I'm not super fussy about a lot of these pieces in terms of where I put them. Why do they seem sensible enough that I can find them again? We have a lot of black pieces. And so these black pieces with the four dots and then then the two on the other side. Of course, we've got the brown that go the opposite direction. So I'm going to be catching myself a little bit, trying to make sure I've got the right ones going the right ways at the right time. I'm not great at that sometimes. All right. So let's just about done the knolling process as far as I care. Finish that up real quick. And two. So I guess you're getting a. I don't know if it's a bonus or a drawback. I'm not sure. Depends on your point of view, I suppose. These. And we're, I keep saying, I'm just about there, and I find more. It's like, really? That's not very effective. There's a lot more of these brown panel things than I had expected. I'm like doing a Rubik's Cube, you know? Twist one way, twist the other way. You go, I'm just about there, and then you find that you blew, blew it on one of the sides and have to backtrack, and kind of like the um, puzzle game I was playing yesterday. All right. I think that falls in the category of close enough. 
right? Okay, so this way. That we have a weird one. Always interesting. So there's some people that just simply sort by color. I actually like to put the piles together. Okay, there we go. You got it. Enough space we can start to build, and as things as things grow, then we'll move move stuff out of the way so that it's not crowding anything. There we are. Alright. Back to Lego. All right, apparently I quit underwater. <laughs> Not exactly where I expected to be, but that's okay. Threw me a little bit in terms of orientation. And I'm gonna dig out this part. Ah! Okay, doing that under the sand is probably not the world's smartest plan. Get the sand from the top, maybe. That might be a smarter plan. There we go. All right. I'm not going to do all of it right away. I just want to build the wall. Okay, and then I need this row as well. On there. Thank you. Oops. Yay. I keep on a grooving, keeping one. Ah. Oh. I'll put a little in English. Thank you for the extra Lego. We're making some progress in that case. Now we actually can see we've got a lid. Well, a bottom, I suppose. I'm not really sure. The bottom, I guess, because most, most um, suitcases don't have uh, the handles on the top. It'd be quite a mess if you didn't actually have the lid latched properly and you had your suitcase handles on the top. Let's hit this corner. There we go. I can get a shape idea of where I'm at. All of that. Ones. Oh, whoops, I'd end up in there. Not what I wanted. Drowning apparently is my specialty. go fill this up it would be at the bottom level to put the rails on this side Oops. 
takes a lot longer than I originally expected, but hey, I guess it technically fits build and chill. I don't know about the chill part, but the build part. Or either. It's funny, a project I thought I was easily going to do in one stream is not becoming as short as I originally thought it would. This one. Corner all the way up. There we go. Hello, Squiddy. that out eventually. When does 16's swimming thing really drives me nuts sometimes because I can't predict it when it's going to kick in properly and when it's not. Making progress slowly. That's the key. So I know CJ Bot had asked for um, command for everybody that anybody could run. It would have random Minecraft facts, and that's just one of those things. That's, it's taking a little more time to build than um, originally thought. So at the moment I have paused that one, but I did not actually charge him the points in the first place. So uh, we're good. We're good there, as in he still got his points. But um, I just need to get on that, and it's been temporarily stalled as a project. That's okay. Uh, no. have a ton of dirt from the last build out or dig out I did. So if I'm going to dig out, I'm going to put it in dirt instead. For now, because I had the bottom being all stone and I may change it out. I really should have brought one of my um, beacons over here. Setting up the beacon is far more trouble than I thought it was worth. Looks like I may have been wrong, but we're far enough into it that I don't think it's worth bringing it now. But it looks like, as I've been sort of oblivious to what time it is, on most of the days in this game today, like during, during today's stream session, I probably have a mystery sleeper. Um, I mean, I suspect I know who it is, but I'm fairly certain that I have an assistant sleeping off the day for me, which is, or the night, which is kind of nice. And that person would deserve an incredibly big chuckle if I died while playing. Oh, hello, squid. Whatever. This is why I put in walls before, because when it comes to using pickaxes, um, you're darned either way. Pardon me. But if it comes to using shovel, 
then you get to the wall and it just stops. Makes the digging out convenient. Normally this would make me really quite sick, so I'm actually pushing the limit here just to see if I can get this done. Because I can take a break after this. Um, I don't have another stream today. Uh, today is Boy Scout, well, bleh. Scout Day for my son. Sorry, uh, I do correct myself on that one. Um, was wondering if I should use an American term and then change my mind halfway through because we don't actually call it that up here at all. So yeah. Not using the American term would probably be a good plan. We're a very different organization than they are. Different history and everything else. Oh. I put a hole in the wall. Yes, it's my son's um, scout day, so that means that I won't be streaming tonight because I'm leader in his group, and um, we have some activities tonight that nobody would want to miss, so I'm looking forward to that. We're working on what's called a, we're calling it uh, the Dragon's Trail Quest, Dragon Trail Quest, I guess, um, activities designed by the National uh, organization and um ah, off the edge nice i'm by the national organization and um so it's like survival type activities uh no that can that can go And um, so they, there's a, a theme to it and all. They're, they're telling a story. The fake story that they've come up with is a, a dragon has awoken and the dragon um, is causing all kinds of problems and we have to try and put him back to sleep. In order to do so, you have to unlock four elements. Of course, earth, air, wind, fire. Well, actually air, earth, water, air, fire yeah i said that right and um so for this week um my son's group has chosen to deal with a, a fake scenario where the you're in the wily woods i have no idea who came up with this you're in the wily woods and the um you're stuck after like a survival or no sorry pardon me after a hike and unfortunately don't have any of your survival gear with you is the premise so so then you're lucky enough to have the winds blow over to you um a pile of survival supplies but the the kids have to figure out how to make use of like decide what to use out of the out of the junk that gets blown over as well as um make sure that they've got a way of keeping the supplies tied down before the wind blows them away again. So I think that's kind of neat. And that's what they're that's what they're working with. So I've got to figure out how to get a bunch of flotsam and jetsam that the wind a wind might blow um, that the kids would be able to use for survival stuff. Now I mean obviously they're gonna be thrown extra supplies, things that a, a whirlwind could not actually throw unless you've got like a tornado going on. Um, but it's better than a kick in the pants and they're learning stuff from it. So that's fine by me. So that's what we're working on tonight. Then they'll be dealing with their, as you can guess, their air element. The topics are all pretty cheesy, but, um, I will say that was a de definitely creative one. Um, the one that my daughter did on Monday, um, hers was 
was uh, they picked the water element, and so hers was building dams. But the air equivalency for her level was was all about they said bridges. So they said, "Okay, bridges." And I'm like, "How does that have anything to do with air?" And it turns out that what they were actually working with is using air to create or using the air element um, and a bunch of junk, the cardboard and whatever, to make models of um, something that you might use a la a parachute or a sail or something along those lines. Get yourself blown across rather than actually building a bridge. Can't exactly say I like the, the way they titled that, but it, it was an interesting concept. So, um, but her group did chose to do water one and that was kind of fun because there's they had to figure out how to divert a stream to be able to flood a selected section and uh, I think they did fairly well um, her particular um, didn't do as well at the activity as the one that followed her but um, that was just because being New Year they have a new bunch of kids to work with in their small groups. Um, they're based off of the Jungle Book theme, so we've got what they're calling them layers, wolf, wolf layers. I mean, they used to call them uh, sixes or dens or, you know, like wherever you go, there's different names for it. But um, so her lair uh, is a little disjointed right now. We have some people with, with different differing languages in the group. And... Um, also, we have people who have friends who are just coming to check it out and try it out, so they were very distracted and not necessarily focused on working with the group, so that was a bit of a drawback. But we're going we're gonna to get this solved, and the kids will figure themselves out, and you know, it'll all be good in the end. They just have a ways to go to figure out how to work together. And the, and the second group that came through um, actually was short a few people, and the remaining ones were all friends, so they already knew how to work together. So they just got a little more progress. But, you know, part of being kids, right? That's part of why we have them work in the smaller groups is so that they can learn to work together. And we do things in the bigger um, wolf pack as well. It's just the smaller layers make it easier to do a lot of the learning activities. Really, if you're going to go on a big camping adventure, are you going to take, you know, 15, 16 kids, or are you going to take six? And I like it. I mean, as far as your friends. Not drown me. Back down, get this corner. Probably have like drowns or something spawning back there. I really don't care. As long as they don't harass me, I'm good with it. So, yeah. I'll be interested to see what my son's um, patrol for scouts picks for next week's activity. So, there's four, each week there's four different activities, or sorry, four different elements. So, therefore, there's four different activities offered, but they have to try and do one. Um, element each week. There we go. No, oh, not that one. It'll be interesting to see what his patrol picks. They always do a good job of picking their activities, but um, it's always just interesting to see because they wanted the scout leaders to bring the supplies this week. Whereas I really do figure they could have handled this themselves. Any case. So yeah, the two major things I do um, during my week, <clears throat> which allow me to get behind on both of them, haha, um, is the streaming stuff and then being a scout leader for, for the two different levels. That that can be a, quite a handful from time to time. Um, for example, when we've got camps, only one of my two kids goes. Um, 
Of course, it used to be both. I think about it. Yeah, there we go. It used to be both because um, for the last year, both of them were in the same level, just like different years of that level. Whereas now, uh, my son has moved on. And it will be a couple of years until they end up in the same level again. Um, but, but once they do that, I'll have a two year gap. And then when my son moves up again, um, when my son moves up again, the group above the scouts, our venturers often do a lot of activities with the scouts. So for example, like this past weekend, there was one that my son chose not to attend. Um, but the venturers were involved in, in the event as well. So both groups were camping together and um that saved a lot of effort and space and time and prep and whatever so that i look forward to the kids working together again all right this is only the rail level And I'm just going to wave to say hello. There we go. It's actually one of the quieter servers. Um, I mean, often I'm on by myself, but um, even when we, there are other people on there, there's not a whole lot of conversation back and forth. Whereas conversely, if you take a look at the um, Dacra 73 Bedrock server, there's almost always conversation going on in the background. And I mean, that has its pros and cons for streaming, but um, more importantly, just, you don't feel like you're all by yourself. It's just a different crew, right? Like it's the kind of people that might own a console by choice rather than PC um, are just different personalities, usually. Not always older or younger or anything like that. I mean, as we can see, they're more chatty for one. Okay, so I need to... First head up top. Or it needs to be planned out a little bit better. Don't know anywhere I can put any of this stuff. Not really. I got in here. All right. So I guess I'm going to have to put down the other chest for now, and then I'll pick it back up later. Get that out. That out. That. 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 Uh, don't need the... I'll need the iron soon, not at the moment, and I don't have enough sticks anyway. Why do I have ladders? That's kind of pointless. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so... These... Not that. Bills rails okay where is where's the center of this again close enough here is where i'm going to want to put the box or the the chests when we're done okay and i make sure that those we're going to take a look at another one of our projects. Let's up this stuff. And then I'm just going to take a fly over to the melon farm. They've got an interesting, they, sorry, my melon farm has an interesting setup um, that I picked up from another video that I think I could make a use of here, where it's got two separate, um, two separate systems of mine carts, but they, mm, fish, yay. Um, but in the two separate systems, they've also got a way that it pauses. And then the, the micro pause, empty out everything in them, and then continue on their merry way. I just wanted to see how this goes. That block, I think, is extra, so let's just pull it out.
Oh, shoot. That's a great way to do things. That's the comparator. That way. Okay, so we've got more to see where does the rest of this go. Okay. All right. That's what I need to see. Let me just take a quick boo at this. And I want to screen grab just that. save perfect okay so what that'll do um mm -hmm. here i can go here here oops <laughs> yeah that's not gonna help if put stuff back in the wall there there There's my block. Okay. And that allows me to two separate ones. Stop and feed into central chest. Except it's not gonna go this direction. It's gonna okay. So I need two repeaters, two comparators, and two porches. Okay. Gate, please. On the other side of it. I just want to put a torch down somewhere. You know. All right. Let's hope I have those parts I need. Three comparators, a ton of torches, more repeaters you can shake a stick at. So I need one more repeater. Sorry, not a repeater. Comparator. Stone. Okay, I just need the quartz. Oh boy, here we go again. I'm so looking forward to being able to put away things long and actually have a place. Um. I know I have a ton of quartz. Where did I put it? Like this. Doesn't even belong there. There it is. In the same drawer, of course. One. There, that's where I put that. Drop it down. There we go. Make There we go. All right. Down here. The hole. Whoa. Hole in the wall. This. There. Make two so I can get in. I want the chest here, so I did four hoppers. Great. Oops, that. Oops, that was dumb. One, two, four.
that is up. That should do the trick. Okay. I'm gonna grab my quick shot that I put out on the web. Oh, I'm sorry. My desktop. Uh, oh. I'm going to start on the other side because I didn't put my picture. I'm going to have a rail, power rail across here. Oh, still. We have powered rail across here. And then I'm the wrong way. Come on. Let me. So it's going to drop off. Also, I can see what I'm doing. All right. Well, there'll be a block on here. I blew it completely. So, her comparator has to come out there. Looking at this one. They can't do it underwater. Ooh. Okay, well, do the classic way then. It's not going to stop. I'm good with that. That's fine. Do the drop off zone. Block here. Block there. Can't get out if I do that. All right. Let's see about doing that later, if there is a later. Uh, okay, well, this, I have to remember, rails. And take some figuring, my part. But instead of that, just for the last few minutes, I'm going to take some figuring off camera. Just my brain is not working at the moment. Is I'll just finish off putting in the stone at the bottom. Probably easier. Not easier, but um, easier to think when I'm not feeling that I'm a little bit pressured to be able to do this for you guys. Put me on camera. I feel very noob when I do types of projects. So, um, yeah. I'm going to make mistakes. I don't necessarily want to be seen. Let's put it that way. It's immature on my part, but it's a fact. Um, up, please. We're just about done. So, yeah. Just about done here. 
and I would highly recommend. Uh, actually, I can't remember what I was going to say, so never mind. It's not important. Part of the reason I'm switching this all to stone is actually more, whoa, a matter of uniformity, but also that um, digging up these types of projects mean that I don't necessarily have to worry as much about finding these types of materials underground at other times. Apparently squids don't like my rails. Any materials I can come up with as a result of other projects is that much less that I don't have to worry about later. Besides, um, stone's very renewable, or some of these others are not. And things like um, granite have their uses, especially at Alchemist flooring tiles, like the way a polished granite would look as a floor tile. So that's where I go with that. I'm going to drown again. Right. Once we get to checkerboarding the actual uh, lava rock, that's actually going to be awful lot easier, I think, than getting the railing done, because the rails are not nice. Pull out all of these. Besides, nothing needs to die on them for the meantime. Oh, whoops. Oh, real thing. The squids would probably appreciate not dying on them. There we go. All right. Those are going to get replaced elsewhere anyway. I may actually have to put my brain to some of these rails. Dodging it is not working. I think I know why. Thank you. Good. Move. Now I know why the um, chest in the other thing went sideways. Um, connecting with one another. Breathe. Right. Okay. This 
one. That's where zero is. Chest, chest. This way, that way. All right. Not since again. One, two, three, four. Go. We get it. That's interesting. Some of it will logged and some of it won't. Weird. Oh no. No no no. Not that one. There we go. Now this one. Away, squid. I I don't know. Um. Right. That's not going to do. We're just about done. Okay. Find birch plants. No, I have more dark oak than I can shake a stick at, so I'm not going to worry about that. Learning about this flying biz slowly. Landing, not so much. Okay, then we go. Need these. Trail. Travel out. That. That. Okay. Don't have enough redstone anyways. All right, well, let's get going. Anybody care to explain why that's doing it? I don't know.
So my plan on this one is just throw in all the railing and then figure out where the redstone needs to be based on the length of the railing. Although, um, yeah, although there's going to be quite a lot of redstone trading because I did not mine enough for all the blocks to be redstone. I really don't feel like making an air gap underneath. A lot more rail. Up here. Watch your manners. He's out first. Okay, we should be able to get some rails out of that. Rail. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> just a few. Okay, hmm. Now this one piece back. Iron farms in my um, Java. Yeah, one of the things I do know how to do. All right, we're just about out of time, so I will be back on Tuesday morning, uh, morning my time. So that'll be noon to two p.m. Eastern. And we will be probably, well, I'm hoping we'll have this this one all done. I've stopped collecting squids. I think we'll have enough ink. Um, I don't mind squids and fish, so it's not a big deal. But um, hopefully we'll have this thing done. If not, we'll be continuing to work on this one. And um, probably doing some more basic materials related stuff. That's kind of my idea for most of the farm. Hmm. Aha. Okay, okay. I think I've got that. We're good. What the? So that's the idea, and we will be working on this probably next week. Uh, if I haven't got it done before then, I will put some effort into it to try and figure out the redstone part of the rails and so on so that we can get everything rolling a little bit faster. No bad puns intended. So let's see where we are today. So I'm going to see who's live. We have... Okay, we've got Gruva or Bruno. Um, both of them are doing some fun stuff. You're going to hear a quick blip out of them, but then I'll be back to see what's going on. But really quick. Okay, so Bruno's got his half-hearted hardcore amplified, and it looks like Ruba's working on some truly bedrock stuff. Do we have a preference where you guys would like to go? A fun stream and a great chat. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there. I still do not understand why some of my thing under there is air and some of it is not. It makes no sense, but it is what it is. So do you guys have a preference on where you head off to? Gruva? Sure, Gruva it is. So 
we are going to just quickly click over to OBS to make sure everything works properly. And then we're going to start the raid. Mischief managed. This managed. Okay. And there's the raid emotes that you see there. Um, I want to thank everybody for popping by today for Fantastic Shock Fox, Lord Snarl, and Swanky Potato. And uh, thank you very much as well to ITT Tom for popping in for a while. I wish everybody the best. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, give Groover our best. Feel free to copy the, the phrase that you see on the screen there. If you have access to this, the sub emotes, you can use the Hype Sheep. If you do not, you can use the Global Raid Pickaxe. So let's head on over to Groova. Um, and I will be back on Tuesday, as I said, noon to 2 Eastern. We'll be on this server and we'll either be finishing up this farm or working on some more basic stuff like the flooring that we didn't get to today. So I want to hope everybody had a great day and have yourselves a fantastic weekend. Bye bye for now. Transfer complete. <laughs>